Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Jennifer Waters. I'm the director of the Nikon Imaging Center at Harvard Medical School and a CZI imaging scientist. Um, and I have to start by thanking the organizers. Um, I have been teaching microscopy since the 1900s. And um, back then, this sort of community did not exist. And it is really amazing all these years later to be surrounded by so many people who are as passionate about um, uh, microscopy education as I am. And I'm also really excited to tell you about a new project. Um, this is a collaboration with Global Bioimaging, Gleb mentioned it early in his talk, and um, funded by CZI. Um, sorry, let me get... What have I done? Okay, we're going to... Okay. Um, okay. We're back. Um, right. So uh, collaboration between GBI and um, several people from my group, both both present and past. Um, as well as this awesome group of very dedicated microscopy teachers. I don't know. It's not doing it up here. It's only doing it up there. Yeah. I'm being tested. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going. Yeah? All right. Um, so this uh, project that I'm going to tell you about is going to be integrated into the um, Global Bioimaging Virtual Training Platform that Gleb told you about. So it will be accessible through that site. And our primary objective for the project is to facilitate self-learning of the fundamental principles in imaging science. Do you want me to do something like stop sharing and start again or no, not yet. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, an interactive remote light microscopy course. And so some of you are thinking there are a lot of resources already out there online for learning microscopy. And uh, you're absolutely right. There are a ton of recorded lectures, particularly uh, post pandemic. Um, a lot of us spent our time uh, at home recording ourselves. Uh, there's plenty of text. Sites like Microscopy U are just are just loaded with with tons of text. Um, and there's also a handful of really nice simulators um, and animations, such as MyScope. However, I think Sylvie will agree with me that um, an effective course involves more than just providing content. Or more than more than just here's the stuff you should learn. Um, and so I'd like to introduce to you MicroTutor. MicroTutor is um, going to, to uh, be a remote education website that we hope will sort of approximate an in-person course. And um, we'll start with a guided curriculum. So rather than, again, here's a bunch of content, we will walk the student through the, um, the content that they most need. We are going to, instead of starting from scratch and building our own content, we're going to curate existing content that is already available on the internet. Yes. So. <laughs> He's back. Let me just try sharing the screen again and see if that helps. Gabby, now we see you. Do you, do you still have your sharing screen? No. Gabby, you still sharing screen? I don't think so. Oh. It doesn't say share screen. I'm I'm that. not sure what to do, <laughs> to be honest. Unless I don't want to leave. Right here, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to leave Jennifer, but she if it's necessary, anything. I will. Okay. okay. Is everybody with me? Sure. All right. So guided curriculum, curated content, and then we want the experience to be interactive, like an in-person uh, course would. Um, we want to provide the students opportunity to assess their progress, see how they're doing as they're working through the course, and we all like our achievements to be recognized, um, and also help directly from instructors. 
So I'll stop and say that the first course that we're going to release will be Fundamental Principles in Light Microscopy. And the first module, I'll explain what that is in a moment, to be released will be Fluorescence Microscopy. So starting with the guided curriculum um, idea. So uh, the, the courses that we design on MicroTutor are going to be, um, the curriculum will be designed by experienced microscopy educators. So people who have been teaching microscopy for a long time. Um, the fluorescence module that we're working on now, uh, the lead curriculum developers are myself, Anna Jost, and uh, Michelle Atano. So the general structure is going to be, we'll have this course, and the course will be broken up into modules. Again, we're working now in the fluorescence microscopy module. And these, then each module will have multiple lessons. And later, we'll take advantage of the modularity to pull out the various lessons and build um, specific tracks for applications. Now, we also want to, as I said, um, guide the students through the course. So we'll do that in multiple ways. One is locking the content um, so they cannot get to it until they have proceeded through the different lessons um, and uh, uh, achieved some goal for that, for that particular lesson. Here's a, a little teaser of, of the site. Um, you can see there are some instructions there, the learning objectives, very important, as Sylvie told us. Um, and then you can see the step-by-steps. This is locked because I haven't completed the quiz yet. All right, curated content. So what do I mean by that? So we have um, put together a database of online lectures. We now have 622 um, existing videos on light microscopy. We have already reviewed 50 of them that were uh, relevant for the fluorescence microscopy curriculum. And of those, we have chosen 10 short videos or clips. We're not gonna most likely include full length lectures. We will more often include short videos or clips of longer, uh, clips taken from longer lectures. We're going to embed the videos um, in direct, into uh, MicroTutor so that the content creator will see the views in their, for example, YouTube statistics. Um, and we're also, of course, gonna ask for permission, even if there's a Creative Commons or other license there that, that um, allows us to use it, we'll still reach out for permission um, and of course, give the appropriate credit. So the, the process for curating the, the content is we start by um, assigning two experts from our group who are experts in that particular topic, and they review the videos, we have a standardized rubric by which they score the videos for things like clarity and teaching, accuracy of the content, and then you know quality of the AV. The highest ranking videos are then screened by two additional uh, experts from our group. And then the entire group has to agree on the final content. For, uh, to make the content, uh, content interactive, we're using a couple of different open source tools, um, H5P, uh, which is an interactive um, HTML5 platform, and the Moodle learning management platform as well. Uh, so Elnaz and I are, are, uh, are putting together these interactive, um, uh, this interactive content, and you can see here just a, a little teaser again, of a microscope where you can click on the various parts to learn the light path. Uh, here's another one where the students can choose between progressing to the next lesson or doing a little um, FP base uh, exercise. Shout out to FP base developed by Tally Lambert from my group, fluorescent protein database. Check it out if you haven't. And for self assessment, we will do self grading quizzes. So we'll have uh, uh, questions in various formats. Uh, choose answers, true or false, fill in the blanks. And the questions will pop up throughout the lessons. So you might be watching a video and it pauses and a question pops up on the content you just watched. In addition, we're going to have pre-quizzes and post-quizzes. And so the idea here is for the student to be able to see how they've progressed and also to get those all important metrics for the um, funders. <laughs> And of course, for us to know that things are, that people are learning as they should be. Um, again, we all like to be recognized. Um, so in addition to getting grades on their courses 
and um, a, an optional certificate at the end of, of a completed course where we have a series of um, adorable uh, and tweetable uh, badges <laughs> and uh, stamps that were designed by a postdoc in my group, um, Eva de la Serna. To get the expert help to the students who are working through this course, we are going to have a moderated online discussion group via microforum, uh, a microscopy discussion forum that my group um, runs. And uh, the group of experts, uh, team micro, uh, micro tutor, will be uh, taking turns moderating that forum. And then in addition, we're gonna offer flipped classroom courses. So if you haven't heard of this, the idea is that you come up with a schedule for the course, you assign the students content. So they will work through a module, let's say. And then um, there are scheduled remote discussion sessions with the experts. So we'll have a Zoom call, those who have worked through the course will join, we'll have Q&A and discussion. And then repeat for several weeks until we've completed the course. So learners like this sort of flexibility, right? They can work through the course content on their own schedule um, and uh, minimal instructor, instructor effort, right? We're just gonna be doing these discussion groups and we're hoping for quarterly, we haven't worked out the schedule yet, um, and also scalable. So hopefully as this you know, builds up and, and people are using it, we can recruit people from the community to, um, to monitor these courses. Uh, in addition, we want to enable uh, junior educators to get going teaching courses. And so we're going to make all of the course content available for download. So when we invite contributors to um, uh, have their content on the site, we are also asking them for their slides and any um, associated lab exercises, for example. And so those will be available for, um, for those who need them. We'll also have private discussion forums uh, for educators so we can all swap ideas. And right now the plan, if all goes well, is the first module will drop early 2024. Um, and, I, and I need to uh, end by thanking Anna Jost. So Anna is the Associate Director for Imaging Education in my group. And this sort of project needs a leader. <laughs> Uh, and Anna is, has been leading the project. Um, she's keeping us all organized and on time. Um, and, and she is an excellent microscopy teacher herself. So she's been fantastic. And uh, thank you to, to CZI um, for funding through the Advanced Imaging Through Collaborative Projects mechanism. And we are going to want to recruit help. Um, we're just getting things off the ground now, but certainly after the first module, we'll be recruiting help. So please, we have a form here. If you would like to get involved, ooh, I love seeing the cell phones come up. All right, if you'd like to get involved, uh, please tell us what your areas of expertise are, what, what your skills are, and what you'd be interested in helping out with, and, and Anna will get back to you. And we recognize that not all of us are recording our lectures and putting them on YouTube. And there are probably a ton of really good microscopy teachers out there that have not done so, and we want to find you. Um, and we'd like to find you through your students. So if you are a student who has taken a microscopy course and you absolutely loved your instructor, please reach out to us and let us know so we can reach out to them when we have holes in the curriculum that we need to fill with content. And with that, I will be happy to take any questions.